Minasan or Karina Sai. Today, someone I struggle to find the words to describe. One of my original favorite girls, and I mean she still is one of my favorites, but over the years I've noticed her popularity skyrocket, and usually I tend to cheer for the underdog. But her positive response is well deserved, a very hardworking, talented gamer with a great smile and personality. Yuki Nakashima, born September 12, 1997, from Wakayama Prefecture, currently affiliated with Buffect Agency. She had been interested in entertainment from an early age, and she wanted to do something involving singing, acting, or dancing. While in junior high school, she joined a music club where she learned how to play the bass guitar, though it was more of a jazz style. Then in high school, she joined a proper band. She became interested in voice acting after watching the series Gintama. Nice. An interest that would later grow after becoming familiar with the anime series TQ. Remember this as it will be more relevant in just a minute. But before that, Yuki began her career as a child model, appearing in the magazine JS Girl. She also appeared in a number of television commercials and dramas while affiliated with the talent agency Amuse. Yes, that Amuse. Actually because of this, Yuki and Hinata Sato have known each other since childhood, and even appeared in a commercial together when they were very, very young. Like I'm talking 9 or 8 years old. <laughs> These days, you hardly ever see those two interact unless it's with Project Sakai. Anyway, let's jump into that voice acting career of hers. In 2014, per the request of her mother, she participated in a voice acting audition held by the publishing company Earth Star Entertainment. She and Kanan Takao won the competition, beating 3,000 other contestants. After the competition, her, Takao, and two other of the contestants became part of the idol group Earth Star Dream. Yuki had the white image color, and over the years she would have seven singles with the group, most of which actually being anime themes. Their first single, Blood Type Heartbeat, would release next year in 2015. Kind of crazy that her and Hinata debuted at such an early age and are now in the same franchise, but also Kanan Takao, part of her first idol group, are also now in the same franchise. Life sure has a crazy way of working. So back to 2015, this is where she made her voice acting debut in the anime TQ, voicing Kinako Tanaka. This was in episode 56, I believe, and she also had a very minor role in Castletown Dandelion. 2016, she was Veronica in the anime adaptation of a very popular, in Japan, MMORPG Onigiri. Also voicing Kinako again in a TQ spinoff called Usakame, focusing on the girls playing tennis. And Asuka Mori in the short form series A Landlord is in puberty. But these next few years is where she started to get herself some bigger roles. In 2017, Yuki was cast as Yuki Otakura in Idolmaster Cinderella Girls, later performing as her in live action. I honestly love it when the seiyuu and character share the same name. She would also voice Akira Asuka in Imoto Umaro-chan, which I cannot find a picture of, nor do I even remember this character. Good show though. And this next one I was very delighted to hear as she was my favorite character in this season of a beloved childhood anime. She voiced Aoi Zazen, aka Blue Angel, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. Later that year, she announced that she would leave Earth Star Dream at the end of the year and begin solo activities, but she ended up sticking with the agency until April of 2018, where she then joined her current agency. The next month, it was announced that she would be taking over for Yurika Endo, who was about to retire from the entertainment industry, as the voice actor of the character Lisa Amai in the multimedia franchise Bang Dream, meaning she would also join the live-action band Roselia as their bass player debuting at their fourth live Ewe Kite and the anime's second season the following year. Bang Dream would take up most of her time until 2020, but in 2019 she did release her first photo book titled Yuki Koi. Lovely. So on to 2020, where she would voice Shiho Hinomori in the Project Sakai Colorful Stage mobile game, eventually joining the group Leonid with three other lovely ladies, one of which being an absolute favorite of mine, Reina Ueda. She also fully debuted as a solo singer with the release of her first album, titled Chapter One. Then in 2021, the only thing she had was her second photo book, Sketchbook. A weird coincidence that the only two years she had no new anime or music were the years that she gave us photo books. I guess you can always rely on her for some sort of content. 2022, she would branch out a bit, voicing Zeno in the Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. Also Mirai Mina A in Cardfight Vanguard Will Dress and a main character, Hokiboshi in Prima Doll, singing the opening and final ending with the other castmates going by the name Chat Noir. She also sang the third ending by herself. Stellar cast in this one, by the way, a lot of idol seiyuu here. But speaking of that, Yuki would also join her third multimedia franchise, Idol Busho, voicing and performing as the character Yui Kangoji. 
being part of the four-girl group Lunatic Eyes. Then she released music with a new group, a virtual group known as Voicecape, also portraying the character Michiru Imori, so I guess this is now her fourth multimedia group. But also, she released her first single, Day of Bright Sunshine, the ending for the strongest stage with the weakest crest. Then her second and third, Route Blue, the ending for the show Shikamori's Not Just a Cutie, where she also had a minor character in episode 5. And A New Day, the ending theme for The Great Cleric. Really good year for her. So for this year of 2023, Nakashima released a special photo book showcasing pictures of her from 2019 to 2022. Bless. Very recently in June, she got one of those new variants of COVID, but on a way more positive note, her second album, Sapphire, as well as her fourth single, Kasumi no Mukue, which is the ending theme for Goblin Slayer's second season. I just downloaded both of these today, and I'll be jamming out to them all day at work tomorrow. She's already got a role lined up for her next year, a lead role, in fact, of Saki Ayase, in the show Days with My Stepsister. Great. Let's hope she doesn't get stuck anywhere. So I've already talked about all of her minor characters and anime music, so let's move on to the video games. Which again, I've basically said all the important ones, Project Sakai, Bang Dream Girls Band Party, and the I Miss Cinderella Girls game. But she's also been in a game for King's Raid, Space Channel 5 VR version, something called Emil Chronicle Online, and then two of the usuals, Tregelia Lost, and last year joining Azir Lane. Concerts include every Roselia Live since her debut, being with them at the Big Bandori and Bushi Road Festivals in 2022, some smaller stuff like Countdown Japan, Kara Expo Singapore, and this year at Japan Jam, but also at Animax and Anisama twice over the years. Speaking of that last one, she's been at Animelo alone as well. The past two years in a row, hoping she becomes a regular there, shout outs to her performance with Aimi and Iri Suzuki. This year, she'll be at the Miyako, aka Kyoto Premium Live, in December with other Bushiro ladies Ayase Ito and Photon Maiden. That's just to name a couple. It's going to be a great show. This will actually also be her second year in a row there. Earlier this year, she had her second live tour. This, of course, means there was a first one back in 2021. And there's even more concert stuff, though, so let's jump back into the franchises. She was with Cinderella Girls, debuting at their 5th, also being at their 7th, 10th Anniversary Magical Wonderland, like for live and the Twinkle Live Constellation Graduation. There's probably more, but they've had so many lives, it's kind of hard to keep track of them all. Same thing with Project Sakai, I know she has been at a few lives and a bunch of events, but their concerts are actually usually virtual, so you wouldn't really be able to see Yuki, just hear her. Which is still good, I guess, but anyway, last year she was at a mini live for Idol Boo Show. Really hoping that franchise takes off and we can see her with them more often. So now let's move on to the fun facts and whatnot. Yuki is 159 centimeters or 5 foot 3. On social media, she has both Twitter and Instagram, as well as a YouTube channel, but it's mostly just for her music. She has live streamed three times though, and there are other channels here on the tube, but I'll get there in a sec. First, for the longest time, Nakashima was the only Roselia member not on the gram, and that is by her own choice, saying she just can't keep up with trends. But earlier this year, she caved and got on the gram, though I'm sure it's mostly management handling it since she said she doesn't understand how to use it and already has her hands full with Twitter. Yuki's interests include singing, dancing, playing video games, listening to Vocaloid music, and playing the bass guitar. Her favorite anime series are Higarashi no Naku Koroni and Utano Prince-sama. Two vastly different series, oh my. While some of her favorite video games are Jubi, Space Channel 5, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And her favorite gaming series overall are Dragon Quest, Animal Crossing, and Imuso games, the Uta no Prince Sama visual novels, and the Tales of series. Naturally, she is also a skilled Garupa player and has a YouTube channel with fellow Roselia member Megu Sakuragawa, their drummer. The channel is called Yuki Megu TV and they upload very frequently, shout out to the Mario Kart playthroughs. She also often appears on the Dengeki Gaming YouTube channel. And actually, Yuki with Amane Shindo have a gaming Nico stream together. She's gotta get herself into that Seiyu Esports group. Yuki had been interested in promoting her home Wakayama Prefecture, so in 2018 she became an ambassador for a campaign to promote the prefecture's orange industry. Shoutouts to the Mekon lovers. In 2019, she was also appointed as a public relations officer by the prefectural government to further promote the area. She has a boyish side to her which has been dubbed Yukio. While she acts like this, she is usually very Ikemon and masculine. This has also been dubbed as the boyfriend of her band's piano player, Kanan Shizaki. And something really fun that I wanted to show off, she can imitate her bird perfectly. Her bird is named Chun Chun, by the way. <laughs> so 
So aside from the nickname Yuki, she also has gone by Shima Yuki, though I've never heard anyone say this. It might be an older one. She has said that she never had a part-time job before. She wanted to try customer service, preferably at a game or bookstore, but she claims she was too shy to talk to people. That is extremely relatable. Kuraharu and Yuki once visited the Craft Egg office, where the Bang Dream Mobile game is made, and they were allowed to draw their characters. Yuki is a big fan of Western comics. Kuroharu jokes that Yuki and Ai, Ai went to a comic book store together on a date and didn't invite the other Roselia members. She also claims that Yuki and Ai, Ai are like sisters because of their many similarities, one being that they both get very emotional very quickly. When asked what her dream was when she was younger, she replied to be a florist or a mermaid princess. What a great dream. I'm sure you'll get there someday, Yuki-chan. And for the final fact, try not to sim too hard, but she has phenomenal abdominal muscles. With that, we have reached the ending. Again, I adore this lady so much, and I know many of you do as well. Sorry this video took so long, I just wanted to wait until her birthday. As always, I'm really looking forward to what she does in the future, hoping for another lead role in a big series like she had with Yukio. I have no doubt that it will happen again, we just have to be patient and wait. For now, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one about the happy around Seiyu. I look forward to seeing you there.